warm welcome back to Jesus House Story family. We are excited to reopen our doors to you again. It has been quite some time away worshipping predominantly online. To enable this, we have put certain safety measures and protocols in place so you can come into a safe, clean and comfortable space. First, we have created an online booking system for those who would love to attend. To do so, please register using the link on our Facebook page at Jesus House Story. In line with current government guidelines and capacity restrictions, sitting would be on a first-come, first-served basis. On arrival to the church premises, kindly join the queue to access the building through the main door. Since there might be a queue outside, please bring a coat or an umbrella considering the Scottish weather. You will be asked to go in one at a time except members from the same household. As you walk in, you will first meet the health check station where you should sanitize your hands and get your temperature taken. Once your booking number has been validated and you have been cleared to go in, kindly proceed towards the auditorium and the ushers will direct you to your seat based on your booking number. In addition to this, markings on the floor will enable proper social distancing from others. Please look out for these and adhere to them. If registering for a family, please indicate how many members would be in attendance and kindly speak with the ushers for directions with children. We encourage you to be in church at least 20 minutes before service starts and have your face marks on at all times. After service ends, kindly exit the building while observing social distancing guidelines. We look forward to having you back and encourage you to play your part so we can safely reopen. Thank you.
Welcome to today's service. Thank you for coming to church. Today is our Children's Day special edition, and we have the children going to take over the service. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy what the children have for us today. It is going to be one presentation after another. There's going to be no dull moment today because the children are taking over. So, but where are the children in the church? Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, uh, thank you very much for coming. Uh, I'm going to invite Sister Omachi to lead us in the prevailing prayer. So, may we all rise up as she comes. Praise the Lord. Are we all excited for Children's Day 2021? Are we all excited? We're going to be doing the prevailing prayers, and the first prayer point is going to be for the nation, and it's going to be taken from Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 26. And it says, People of Israel, no God is like your God, riding in splendor across the sky, riding through the clouds to come to your aid. Let's begin to pray. Father, in your mercy, please send help to the United Kingdom by this divine help. Let there be restoration of peace and wealth to this nation in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Our next prayer point is going to be for the unbelievers, and it's going to be taken from Acts chapter 22, verse 6 and 11. And it says, I was, As I was traveling and coming near the Makkah, about midday, a bright light from the sky flashed suddenly around me. I was blind because of the bright light, and so my companions took me by the hand and led me to the Makkah. Us. Let's begin to pray. Father, Father, please shine your great light upon our land, shine your great light upon our land. and let darkness be swallowed up, leading to salvation and transformation of all the unsaved around us in Jesus' name. Let's begin to pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Our next prayer point is going to be for the word and participants. And it's going to be from Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 6. Jeremiah. Praise the Lord. I'll read it in peace. Call me, and I will answer to you and show you great and mighty things when you do not know. Let's begin to pray. Father, Father as, we as we call unto you in this service, in this service let there be instant answers to prayers, let there be instant answers to prayers and let every participant receive revelation knowledge that will deliver uncommon testimonies in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's begin to pray. Let there be instant answer to prayer. Let every participant receive revelation knowledge that will deliver our common testimony. 
In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the service. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. May all our prayers be answered in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, the children will lead us in the praise and worship session, and this will be played by the media. Yesterday in our Saturday school, we were taught the art of dancing and clapping and singing. So let us rejoice and thank God for the gift of the beautiful children that he has given us or that will give us for those of us still expecting. So let us dance and rejoice. Thank you very much. Hi, everybody. Um, we're going to be going into the worship
everybody. Thank you for that place tonight. Today I'm going to be saying the testimony for today. I give God praise for his free gift of life to me and my family. I thank God for his healing upon my son over the past years. There has been, a, there has been lots of improvement in his development. All glory to God for healing, wholeness, and perfection. Hallelujah. Sister Faith. The testimony shall be per permanent in Jesus' name. I invite the pastor to pray for the testimony in the fire. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just want to thank you, King of Glory, for the testimony concerning that child. Thank you because you are to walk in his life. And every other children that is under the cover of this house, name by our name. Lord, as we have returned the testimony to you, and glory for what you are doing thus far. We pray for perfection in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. I hope you're having a nice time so far in the service. There's still many more to come. So don't go anywhere. I know you're not going anywhere, but for the sake of saying it, don't go anywhere. News and coronavirus updates coming in very shortly. Uh, children are very aware of what is happening around them and they're about to showcase their knowledge. So just in case you don't know what is happening about the pandemic or anything like that, we have kids that are BBC broadcasters. So listen and be blessed. Praise the Lord. And today we're going to be reading pandemic-related news, how God has been, and the only Savior of the world. We first heard the cases of pneumonia of a known cause on the 31st of December, 2019, through the World Health Organization, WHO. The World Health Organization later called this disease COVID-19 and it was declared a pandemic on the 11th of March, 2020, because it has rapidly spread worldwide. This causes confusion worldwide. New normal emerged, such as the compulsory use of masks, need for isolation, quarantine, and social distancing. It was like a sudden furious storm and it felt like the world would be swept over. Matthew age 23 to 24. We, the children of God, cried to him for help. God did not punish the world with COVID-19. God cannot be tempted by evil, and he himself does not tempt anyone. He's not the author of confusion. The source of all evil in the world is sin, or as temptation. Romans 5, to verse 10, 12. However, God will completely save us from COVID-19 pandemic. He did save the disciples from drowning. Matthew 8, 25 to 26 winds and the waves, and it was completely calm. COVID-19 will be completely silenced by the power in the name of Jesus, and the world will be at peace again. We have started. He has started by giving us the COVID-19 vaccine. Hallelujah! For the Lord gives wisdom. Out of His mouth comes knowledge and understanding. 
this discovery and development of the COVID-19 vaccine is by him, working through the scientists and doctors around the world. Deuteronomy 29.29 We are assured of total deliverance from COVID-19 because he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. And the punishment that brought us peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. Isaiah 53, 5. We are getting to the end of the tunnel. The bright light shall come again. And the storm will be over. God, the only Savior of the world, has risen on behalf of his children. COVID has been rebuked. He has commanded that the earth will be completely cleansed of the COVID-19 and there will be perfect comments. We have a responsibility in his healing move of God. He, whenever the opportunity comes, please take the COVID vaccine. Educate your friends and family to do so. The Bible says, even so faith it hath not work, works is dead, being alone. James 2.17 The greatest lesson from the pandemic experience is that your next neighbor will be your immediate support in all times of trouble. Love without borders of discrimination will keep us together. It will strengthen us to navigate the inevitables intermittent storms of humanity. Thank you everyone. Happy Children's Day. Seven years and after that we'll have the tithes and offering. So please um, still remain where you are and enjoy the service. Verse 3. Who may climb the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? Only those whose hands and hearts are pure and don't worship idols and never tell lies. Hello everyone. My name is Daniel. The title of my memory verse is God Jesus. Second Chronicles seven fourteen. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, pray, seek my face, turn from the wicked way, then I'll hear from heaven, forgive the sin, and heal the land. Thank you. Bye. Happy Children's Day. Revelation 12, 11. They came hidden by Jonah in the world of the testimony. 
Praise the Lord. My name is Jessica Kasha and I'm here to read Proverbs 8 verse 11. For wisdom is better than rubies and all the other things that may be desired or not to be compared to it. Philippians 4 verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. Rejoice. Thank you. Bye. Good morning church. My name is Paula Waki. I have a nine last from four words before. Trust no we all are and do not eat on your own understanding. Hello everyone, my name is Adekinle Adeniro and today I'm going to be reciting Ephesians 1, 17 to 18. I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so you may know him better. I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order so you may know the hope which he has called you. The riches, the riches of the glorious inheritance unto your holy people. Bye. Happy Children's Day. Praise the Lord. It is time to give a love offering. Luke 6, verse 38 says, Give, I will give to you. Good measures, press down, shake it together, and run it over. Put into your bosom. The same measures that we use, we measure back to you. Let us pray in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for this love offering. We pray that you bless and increase the givers abundantly, even as the offering we use for the kingdom's work. In Jesus' name, I pray. The details on how you should give will be by the US team. May the Lord bless you as give love offering. Amen.
phone. You can simply send a text message to the different phone numbers depending on the amount displayed on the screen now. Please search for Jesus House Story and click on Shopping and then follow the instructions. our website on jesushousestory.org and click on give online and then follow the instructions. auditorium, please look out for the white envelope on your seat and follow the instructions of the usher. Uh, please put your hands together for the children. You are Guru Media doing an awesome job. Put your hands together. Keep clapping on the lights. Say stop. Let us clap for our beautiful and wonderful children and encourage them. Thank you very much. Thank you. So we're going to have three sets of presentations next. Our first set of presentations are going to be from children 8 to 12 years. The presentation you watched earlier were from children to 4 to 7 years. Wasn't that amazing how bold and confident they were reading from the Bible? It's, it's amazing what God is doing in the lives of our children. And we're just about to see so much more. And we'll have presentations from the teachers as well. So let's see the beautiful faces the men and women of God who are helping our children do this. But before then, uh, let us pray for the tithers. So if you have your tithes or if you're paid it online, you can stand up and we'll just pray for you. In Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for the grace you have given us to be gathered here. We thank you for provision. We thank you for protection. And we thank you for guidance. Father, we pray for those who have honored your word by bringing back their offerings in forms of tithe to the church. Father, we give you all the glory. We exalt you. Father, we thank you and we pray that for these ones that have obeyed your word, O oh God, testimony shall never depart from them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you will continue to provide for them in the mighty name of Jesus. For these and many other blessings of acts through Christ our Lord. Amen. So let's sit back and watch our presentations and please encourage the children which are smiling and clapping as they get on. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Shami and today I'm going to be reciting Psalm 100 from the ICB version. Shout to the Lord to all the earth, serve the Lord with joy, come before him with singing, know that the Lord is God, he made us and we belong to him, we are his people, the sheep he tends, come into his city with songs of thanksgiving, come into his choir with songs of praise, thank him and praise his name, the Lord is good, his love continues forever, his loyalty continues from now on. Amen. Hi, my name is Kobe Aganeko and my presentation goes like this, Havaga 3 verse 4. And his brightness was as light. He had horns coming out of his hand, and there was an hiding of his power. Happy Children's Day. Bye. My name is Yoma Ogenekewe. My presentation goes like this. My son hears the instructions of thy father, and forsake not of thy Lord, of thy mother, for they shall be an ornament of grace unto thy head and chains above thy neck. Proverbs 1, 8, 9. Happy Students Day. Bye. My name is Tobi Laba Dara and my memory verse is taken from the book of Philippians 2, verse 11. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord in the glory of God the Father. My name is Praise, and my memory verse is taken from Exodus 33, verse 18 to 19. And he said, I beseech thee, show me thy glory. 
And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before thee, and, and I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee. And I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious, and I will show mercy to whom I will show mercy. Hello, church. My name is Priscilla. Today I'm going to be reading Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall know one. He makes me to lie down in the green pasture. He leads me beside the still water. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. The road and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. But not my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely good goodness and my feet shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Happy Children's Day! Happy Children's Day! I am Joyce, and today I will be reciting Ephesians chapter 1, 17 to 18. I keep asking that the God of our Lord, Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation, so that you may know him better. I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened, in order that you may know the hope to which he had called you the riches of his glorious inheritance in his holy people. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Mitchell and I'm here to show you some of my skills. Come along. doing a compilation of some of the things I learned during lockdown. Number one, cooking and baking. Number two, video recording. Hello everyone, my name Number three, poster making. Number four, video edit. Number five, how to write a book. Number six, face painting. Good afternoon, mommies and daddies, and everyone else in church. My name is Jumoke Akoni. I'm a member of Jesus House Tori Children Church Teachers. And um, today I'll be speaking on behalf of all the other children teachers. First off, I just want to say thank you so much for your support to the children church. Thank you for trusting us with, you know, the lives of your children, for us to teach them and lead them according to the word of God. We appreciate it and God bless you. However, there are some things that um, we would really, really want to solicit for your help with. Um, going forward, you're doing an amazing job so far, but we can always do more. And we trust God for grace to do more. First off is... 
we would need your support with attendance and punctuality of the children in all our Bible studies. So as you know, we have an online class on Thursdays at 7.30 and then in-person um, Sunday school class on Sundays. Um, we would really appreciate it if the children um, attend classes without fail on both days and if they are punctual to class. That in includes getting them signed into Zoom before 7.30 so that by 7.30 we are good and ready to go. Making sure that they have their writing materials with them and their Bible so that they can follow as a teacher is teaching and speaking. Thank you very much. Secondly, we would appreciate it while the children are on Zoom. Parents, please ensure that you're around the children, um, be in the same space where they are, so that if they need help with anything, but uh, you know, turning on their video or muting themselves or answering a question, you can quickly assist and it doesn't hold up the class. Um, thirdly, is to ensure that even in, um, while they're on Zoom, they pay attention. I mean, we can watch them on, on video, but there's only so much we can do not being in the same place with them. So we'd really appreciate it if you help us ensure that they pay attention and are not distracted. Um, fourthly, um, um, when the children are coming to church on Sundays, um, please remember to give them their offering. Um, we take offering in children's church, um, and we would really like, you know, the kids to get used to this, you know, um, train up the child in the way he should go. When he's old, he will not depart from it. These are things that we need to teach them while they are young. So please remember to give them their offering before you drop them off. And um, um, also, um, we would appreciate it once the service is over in the adult church. Please come upstairs as soon as possible to pick up your children. We would not let the children, you know, come out of um, classes on their own. We, we need parents to come and pick, pick them up and sign them out um, individually. So um, don't, don't waste time in doing that, please, um, so that we can all get home um, right on time as well. And then lastly, please, um, as the days go on during the week, weekend, watch out for the kind of company that your children keep, the, the people they talk to, the things they watch, the things they listen to. Um, you're all doing amazing amazing job as parents and I trust that God will continue to help us in this day and time when there's so many negative influences out there. We need to be watchful. God help you, God strengthen you, God keep you and guide you. Thank you very much from every children's teacher. We say thank you, we love you, God bless you. Bye. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3 Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all the things by the, by the word of his power when he had by himself purged our sins sat down by the right hand of the majesty on high Thank you Matthew 17 verse 5 while he is still speaking, behold, a bright cloud over sat on them. The waist covered cloud and said, This is where we love the sun, with whom I am well pleased. With it to him. Hello, my name is Osa, and today I'll be sharing a poem titled Good Enough. God wants me to be myself, for he created me this way, and since God made me who I am, Myself, I'm quite content to say. In his eyes, I'm good enough. It matters not what others say. I need not act as if I'm tough or copy other children's ways. God doesn't care if I'm not cool, if I'm not stronger, thinner. In his hands, I am a tool to reach out to another sinner. Though I am still young and small, in Jesus Christ, I am strong and tall. So when people look at me, may it be God's son they see. Let this be our confession every day. Thank you for listening. Bye. Good morning, church. My name is Grace. Today I'll be sharing with you a recap of some of the topics we have been taught this year. The first topic I'll be talking about is how I created. The Bible passage was from Psalms 100. Number one, I was created to make a broken road to the Lord. Number two, I was created to serve the Lord of others. Number three, I was created for His glory. We are taught to always remember we are wonderfully, fearfully, and uniquely created by God and that we are special and precious to God. Next topic was, You are beautiful. The Bible passage was from 
Psalms 100, and 29, verse 1 to 18. We were taught how exactly we are able to know we are beautiful. We are able to know we are beautiful because He blesses us, directs our steps, and makes sure we become shining stars in life. We were also we were also taught to to be able to celebrate our uniqueness and need to be excited that God made us peculiar and different from everyone else. Therefore, there is no need for comparison. Lastly, is God's glorious presence. The Bible passage was from Exodus 33, verse 12 to 23. We were taught to seek God's presence by having personal devotion with him. We should make God our friend and leader so that he can show us what is right and where to go. Also, reading our Bible and praying to God when we feel scared and alone was emphasized by our teachers. We pointed to the need to attend church and online Bible study, push the debate and pay attention to the services. This way, we are able to go day by day. Happy Children's Day! Jesus, I can see you smiling even though you are wearing your marks. That's to show that you are really having a nice time. Let us put our hands together for our children. It has been an amazing service. You can see the young man come back to recap everything that he has learned. That's so, that's so beautiful and it can only be God. And we pray that God has started his work in our children will continuously and continuously do, keep doing it in the mighty name of Jesus. Now I've come to the time where we listen to the word. So let us bring out our pens and our bios and our books and let us take down what the children have to teach us today. How fun would that be? So let us listen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Children's Day 2021. And I pray you'll have a testimony by the end of this service, in Jesus' name. And before we start today's service, I have a question um, for all the grown-ups in the house. How many of you have preached like this when you were younger in church? <laughs> As you can see, this is a rare privilege. So I pray you listen to God's word and obey in the name of Jesus. Let us sing the song together. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy. Oh. Let us pray. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you for bringing us to Children's Church 2021. And I praise you've added a year on our lives. You've added strength and favor on our lives in the name of Jesus. I pray I'll be a vessel preaching a word. And may I be humble to preach a word in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Our topic for today is carriers of God's glory. And our text is Isaiah 60, 1-6. And it says, Arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth, and thick darkness covers the people. But the Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will be seen upon you. Nation shall come to your light, and the kings to the brightness of your rising. Lift up your eyes all around you, and see. They all gather together, they come to you. Your son shall come from afar, and your daughter, daughter shall come with them. You shall see and be radiant, and your heart shall thrill and exult, because the abundance of the sea shall be turned to you. The wealth of the nation shall come to you, and a multitude of camels shall cover your land. Young camels from the Midian and Ephah, and all those from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and incense, and they shall sing, bring good news and sing praise to the Lord. In Jesus' name. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. Before we continue, we need to understand some terms in our topic. What is glory? Glory can be defined as the presence of God. I repeat, 
glory can be defined as the presence of God. And it can also be defined as shining the light of God, which we shall adopt in this short exhortation today. Ezekiel chapter 43 verse 2. Ezekiel chapter 43 verse 2 says, Of the Lord there shined his glory. Exodus chapter 24 verse 17 also says, And the sight of the glory of the Lord was like devouring fire on top of the mount in the eyes of the children of Israel, which means the glory of God is like fire and it shines. Who is a carrier of God's glory? A carrier of God's glory is anyone who is a child of God. That is, anyone who has received Jesus as his or her Lord and Savior. John 1 verse 12. John 1 verse 12 says, But as many received him, to them he gave them the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name. Also, a carrier of God's glory is a child of God whose life shines the light of God by doing, saying, and thinking of things to please God always. What then pleases God? The answer is anything that you do that makes God happy. And the Bible says in Matthew chapter 5, verse 14, You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Colossians chapter 2, verse 9. Colossians chapter 2, verse 9 says, Jesus was the manifestation of the glory of God to men. And at the ascension of Jesus, he left for us the Holy Spirit, who is now the express manifestation of the God's glory. This means God reveals his glory through the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is therefore the medium through which you can experience and feel the express manifestation of the glory of God. And when is the glory of God revealed? The glory of God is revealed in your weakness, challenges, difficulties, and struggles. And the glory of God br brings a relief and a turnaround. What are the characteristics of the glory of God? Number one, the glory of God can be heard. 1 Kings 10 verse 1. And when the queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon concerning the name of the Lord, she came to prove him with hard questions. And when the queen of Sheba had heard of the greatness of the king, the glory, the glory of God had been released upon him. I pray the glory of God will be released upon your life in the name of Jesus. Number two, the glory of God can be seen. John 12, 41 says, These things Isaiah said when he saw his glory and spoke of him. And in 1 Kings 10, verse 4, it says, And when the queen of Sheba had seen all of Solomon's wisdom and the house that he had built, the queen of Sheba, upon visiting the king, saw the splendor and magnificence of the kingdom, and she concluded that she had seen the glory of God in action. I pray we all see the glory of God in action in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. And when the glory of God comes upon a person, his physical conditions changes, and he becomes the admiration of all who knew him before. For example, the glory of God is seen in the life of blind Bartimaeus. In blind Bartimaeus, as you can see, after meeting Jesus, after so many years, his eyes opened, and I'm sure he was the person talked about most that day and week. Number three, the glory of God abounds. Second Corinthians chapter three, verse 18, says, our faces then are not covered. We are all shown the glory of God, and we are being changed to be like him. This change in us brings more and more glory and it comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. And abound means to be plenty or abundant. And when you continue living in the right sight of God, he will cause his glory to increase upon your life. And may the, Lord, may the Lord's glory increase upon all of our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Number four, the glory of God attracts enemies. When the glory of God comes upon a person, you will attract the envy of men who will not be happy because your condition has changed for the better. But God will protect you in Jesus' name. 
The glory of God attracts blessings, beauty, wealth, favor, goodwill, and the splendor of God is released upon a person when they attract the glory of God. Number five, the glory of God sadly can diminish and be lost. Ezekiel, which you can see in Ezekiel 10, 15 to 19, for, and also 1 Samuel 4, 21 to 22, says, Then she named the child Ichabod, saying, The glory of God has departed from Israel, because the ark of God had been captured. And because her father-in-law and her husband said, and she said, the glory of God has departed from Israel. And when the glory diminishes, a person will experience lack, poverty, pain, failure, and all forms of calamity. And when a person loses his glory, he'll fall from grace to grass, which means from the top to the bottom in everything that they do. Therefore, we therefore must ensure that the glory of God does not diminish from our lives. What are the functions and benefits of the glory of God? Number one, the glory of God produces beauty and color. And you begin to experience so many miracles in all areas of life. Number two, you'll begin to enjoy heaven on earth. That means you'll enjoy earth as if you're in heaven. Number three, the glory of God produces wealth and riches. An example is Job. God restored and doubled all he had lost. And number four, the glory of God produces wholeness and completeness. Another example is blind Bartimaeus, who became whole and complete after he was healed. Number five, the glory of God produces positive transformation and change. How then can you activate the glory of God in your life? You must be prepared to have faith in every word that God speaks to you. John 11, 40. John 11, verse 40 says, Jesus said to her, Did I not say that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? The important point here is faith. To see the glory of God, you must believe. Number two, be prepared to acknowledge and thank God for his daily mercies and provisions. Jeremiah 30 verse 19. Jeremiah 30 verse 19. The main important and that's main message in that scripture is to be thankful for everything you have. Number three, be ready to take risks for the sake of God. Second Samuel 6 verse 10. And second Samuel 6 verse 10 to 12. Obed Edom took the risk of accepting to keep the ark of God in his house for safekeeping. This act released the glory of God upon him and his entire household. Number four, be ready to maximize every opportunity that God brings your way. For example, in your academics, sports, and at work. How do you carry God's glory? Number one, by willingly responding to the call of God and following him. Abraham showed the example of obeying God without asking questions or hesitating to carry out his commandment as recorded in Genesis chapter 12, one to four. He relocated from his comfort zone to a new place that God chose for him in order to fulfill his promise and exhibit his glory. Today, as he did to Abraham thousands of years ago, God is constantly speaking to us, but are we listening? Number two, by reading your Bible, which is God's word, and obeying what it says. For us to swim in his glory and carry his glory, we must hear his voice and obey his command. Joshua 1 verse 8. Number three, shining the light of God by being excellent in all you do. Carriers of God's glory are the people who understand that they're created to shine the light of God wherever in the world they find themselves. Whatever you are today and whatever you've achieved, is for his glory. Whatever size or shape you are, God wants to use him, you for his glory. Be thankful to God who made you. If you're given an award in school because you got the best test results, it is for his glory. You did not achieve greatness by yourself, but God helped you. So thank him and give him all the glory. And giving God glory is like shining a flashlight on him to show how great he is. 
Remember in Isaiah 43, verse 7? It says, everyone who is called by my name, who, am, who I have created for my glory. Yes, I formed him. I made him. In the scripture, you can see that we are all created for God's glory. And please turn to your neighbor and say, I am created for God's glory, and I will show forth his glory. Please, can we repeat that? I am created for God's glory, and I will show forth his glory. God bless you. Another example of a perfect, perfect carrier of God's glory was Peter, an ordinary fisherman, but he carried the power of God. And he may be one of the most powerful men today because of the churches and schools open in his name all around the world. So even after death, his glory still shines and glows. In conclusion, God creates us and keeps us alive to manifest his glory. Are you manifesting his glory? And are you declaring his glory? And can he manifest in you? 1 Corinthians 10, 31 says, Therefore, whether you eat or drink, whatever you do is all to the glory of God. Don't be like Pharaoh, manifesting negative glory. And if you want him to manifest in you, you must come to him, surrender to him, and he will manifest in you as he did in the days of old. Don't fail to yield unto him. Praise the Lord. As I said earlier, you must be a born again child of God to carry his glory. That is, you must have received him as his or her Lord and Savior. So if you have not received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you want to do that today so that you can be a carrier of his glory, please bow your head and say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I accept that I am a sinner and I cannot save myself. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I confess you today as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, congratulations. You're welcome into God's family. And for those who are believers already, please bow your heads and recommit to God that you will manifest his glory in every area of your life. Fa let us pray. Father, we thank you for teaching us today. Help us all from this day to be carriers of your glory. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Don't stop clapping. 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 That was wonderful. That was wonderful. Praise the Lord. Let us pray for that word that we have heard, that God will make us be able to hear us and do us. And just like he has said, that the glory of God will never depart from our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. That in every ramification of our lives, the glory of God will be ever present and ever manifesting in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that consigns us will be filled with God's glory in the mighty name of Jesus. And we will continuously for the rest of our life be carriers of God's glory in the mighty name of Jesus. And our light will so shine that men will see the good work of the Father in our lives and in everything that consigns us. For these and many other blessings of acts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for the young boy who just gave the word that God has started this beautiful thing in his life. will continue it in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray for all our children that even as they shared their testimonies by way of Bible verses, by way of singing, that God will continuously use them to advance his kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. That their steps will be directed in their going in and in their coming out with whoever they mingle with, their friends, wherever they are, in their school, that God's wisdom will never depart from them in the mighty name of Jesus. They will be wise, they will be strong, they will be bold, and I'm, I'm, above all, they will be carriers of God's glory for the rest of their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Put your hands together again for the children. They deserve a very round of, you know, big round of applause. It's now, it's now time for our thanksgiving. God has been so faithful to us 
he has been so you can see the presentations that the children did it's only right to say god we thank you for the lives of our children we thank you for what you have been doing we thank you for what you have done and we thank you for what you did for them it is by the grace of god that he could do everything that they do today and it's time for us to wear our dancing shoes and let us dance and praise god for these wonderful things that he has done so i'm going to invite the choir right now and they will lead us into the section of thanksgiving praise the lord Hallelujah. We are thanking God for his faithfulness over our children. Hallelujah. Amen. Who is greater than Jehovah, Lord divine? There is no one greater than Jehovah, Lord divine.
hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we offer praise. We offer praise. We glorify your praise. We offer praise. We glorify your holy. Somebody grateful to the Lord on behalf of these children. Shout hallelujah. Amen. I'm sure we know that there are more than this, but observing the rules and also the younger ones are standing in gap on behalf of the rest of them, even up to the teenage age. The best gift we can give to God is what we have just given, our praise. If you remember this time last year, none of us could gather like this. The children's day of last year was done over the media with everyone locked down in their homes. Because the memory of men can be so short that we forget what God has done for us. Now I stand on behalf of these children and I can say that we counted and none of them is missing now how many are aware how many are aware that among those that were swept off by covid 19 some children were affected we we're praying for the service this morning and the brother that was leading us mentioned this point so when we say let us thank god on behalf of the children let us know where we are coming from praise god forevermore I was, I, was, I was in a church, another church service, and a testimony was coming about a boy that from birth, his, his, in, his organs, the one that was supposed to carry air was carrying something else. The one that was supposed to carry something else was carrying air. He has been a concern, a major concern to his family. Praise God forevermore. If any of these children... Is a, if any of them is a concern, we will not be here as parents. Praise God forevermore. So it is with this understanding I want us to please thank God on behalf of the children. And I want us to do it from the depth of our heart. So please let's lift our hands, let's lift our voice. Brothers and sisters, uncles and aunties, moms and dads, let's give God praise. Let's give him glory. Let's give him honor. Let's give him adoration. Let's give him worship. It is not our doing. It is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. We give you praise, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. We give you honor, Lord. We give you adoration for these children that you have kept to see the celebration of the Children's Day of 2021. We do not take it for granted, Lord. To you be all the praise. To you be all the glory. To you be all the honor. To you be all adoration. Father, accept our thanks and gratitude. I want us to go ahead now. Commit these children into the hands of the Lord. That the hand of the Lord will rest afresh upon them. Even as they are celebrating their day. Lord, let your hand rest upon them. Let's pray for them with the theme of their celebration. That these children will be carriers of God's glory. That these children will be carriers of God's glory. My shadow, Lord, let your hand come afresh upon these children. In the name of Jesus, the only thing permitted in their life and on the head of these children is your glory. Let's go ahead and pray. Sickness will be far from these children. Disease will be far from them. Affliction will be far from them. Oppression will be far from them. No weapon formed against them shall prosper. Let's pray using these ones as a point of, of contact. If there is any among them with any health challenges, with any issue at all, Father, as a gift today, Lord, set them free. Heal them completely. Let's pray finally that these children will fulfill their days. They will fulfill their destiny. None of them will be wasted by the enemy. None of them will be wasted by the wicked. Baraza paruse helian kataba shagada barada bahuselea. Father, lay your hands upon these children. Let it be well with them. Now let's pray for the teachers. They are the ones that have been standing on our behalf to pray to teach these children in the way of the Lord. Let's pray for their teachers. 
Let's pray that the Lord King of glory that have been using them, we continue to use them, we bless them with the blessing of the Lord. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you for the children that you have given to us in all our hearts. We present them to you afresh. And we pray you will lay your hands on them all by yourself. Let them be the carrier of your glory in the name of Jesus. We soak these children in the precious blood of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty God. We declare that none of them will be a concern. Thank you, Almighty God. In Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. And for the teachers, Lord King of Glory, bless them, reward them, and give them greater wisdom to raise these children in the name of Jesus. And for all parents here, Lord King of Glory, I pray as our joy is full over these children, none of us will weep over our children in the name of Jesus. And for those whose children are on their way, by way of expectation, by way of marriage coming, I pray in the name of Jesus, your children will show up very soon in the name of Jesus. Those believing you for, believing you for marriage, I pray you will set to them in the mighty name of Jesus. Those believing you for the fruit of the womb, Father, I pray you will set to them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty God. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let's celebrate the children as they go back to their class. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, children. Happy Children's Day. We love you. We appreciate your awesome presentation. Please, let's celebrate them. Let's celebrate them. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, let's have our seats in the presence of the Lord. Amen. We thank God for this mask, but I'm not sure now. Is the Assessor Boss family around? Oh, okay. Praise God forevermore. Good afternoon, everyone. And really like to welcome us and to say happy Children's Day to us. And as we have prayed, the Lord King of Glory will help us in Jesus' name. I want to say to our parents, and even uncle and aunties has laid on my heart and I'll be very sharp with this. Let us partner with God to raise children that are carriers of God's glory. Two important people in the life of a carrier of God's glory as we see in the Bible, a young man became a great giant for the Lord, Samuel. Two important people, his mom and a man called Eli they partnered with God. Now, if I'm to... And for that wonderful word, that word was breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, everything was complete. Please, let's celebrate the Lord. Amen. The minimum points that I have should be like 15 or more, coming from a child. Praise God. Now, it's possible we say he has been assisted either by the teacher or parent. But I heard the man of God, he said his challenge is not preparing the word. His challenge is actually after he has prepared to also deliver it. So, they could give somebody, have you seen someone, they give an expo and it's still fail an exam. So, that was not just preparation, that was wonderful delivery. All the glory to God. Can we appreciate God one more time? Amen. Praise God forevermore. We also have feedbacks for them and we're giving them feedbacks. And if you have feedbacks for us as well, give us feedbacks and then we'll pass it through the right channel. Praise God forevermore. But please, let us all partner with God. Just like as I was saying, the Lord used the mom of Samuel. The Lord used a man in his life. That's why uncles and aunties, you cannot afford to also look away. Praise God. An interesting thing that came to my heart concerning Eli, how come he raised other children and he could not raise his own children? 
So there is something that can make us to take our children for granted. Be passionate about other children. Don't do that. To take your siblings for granted. And yet you are building the life of others. Don't do that. Our passion should be that there's no child that will be connected with us that will not carry the glory of God. I think I've said that in two minutes and that's a point that we can take away. We want to welcome everyone and anyone that have come to celebrate with us or that have come to this service for the very, very, very first Sunday like this. You may have been here before, maybe other days, but you are in a Sunday service with us like this. You are so special to us and we want to show it. We want to celebrate you. We want to, so, to let you know that we love you. Is there anyone like that? Is there anyone like that? God bless you, sir. God bless you. Is there any other person like that? Hallelujah. Please, let's celebrate him. We give you praise, Lord. You're welcome in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Is there, do we have any other person? Praise God. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Now, before we share the grace, I would uh, ensure that the welcome team, they would be able to meet you as they desire to do so. So quickly, we go into the time of announcement as we begin to bring this service to a wonderful um, occasion. And please, parents, uncles and aunties, give children a treat for today. Let them just have a memory of their celebration. Praise God forevermore. That's the first announcement, if you take it from me. Hallelujah. You're worshiping with us today for the first time. God bless you. Maybe I was not looking in that direction. Sorry. God bless you, sir. We'll meet with you shortly. So please, we are reminded of our daily prayers on Zoom. Please let us be there. If you can, at any of the time, you can take a snapshot, uh, a picture of that, and then keep to that time. And the Lord God of heaven and earth will bless us in Jesus' name. Tuesday is the first day and the first Tuesday in the sixth month of the year 2021. How many are excited to see the month that is the middle of the year 2021? Hallelujah. It promises to be great in this house on Tuesday because we are going to enter the new month in a new way. I will reserve the details. So I'm inviting you to come just as we feel everywhere like this. How many knows that God loves people? He's a people person. So when God sees his children gather in mass, he does great and mighty things. So Tuesday, let's be here for our word and communion service and it shall be a blessing to us in the name of Jesus. Sunday is just going to be amazing. Somebody say, amazing! Four families. How many families? They are bringing four brand new children for dedication. Praise God forevermore. So, in the history of this church, I don't think I can remember how God has done this for us. So please, let us come in a powerful way to thank God for a brand new month, number one, and then number two, to do what? To celebrate with those families. Praise God forevermore. And it shall be an awesome one in the name of Jesus. Other announcements will come to us because I just realized that there is one more thing that we need to do. A, man, a family that has been one of our foundation family, the Ezezobos family, we started by the grace of God 13 years ago together. The Jesus House Story Church. Praise the Lord. And it has pleased the Lord to promote and to move this family forward by way of relocation out of Aberdeen. And we want to pray for them. They have been part of us from the beginning. They have been a blessing in many ways. Praise God. I think if I remember, Brasher, you was the first driver or among the first driver of this church, picking people and bringing them to church. And then the wife as well, hospitality and the children. We've seen the children grow. We've seen God bless the family and we are just grateful to God. How amazing it is, it is if a family is with a church 13 years ago and it's time for them to leave the city to a bigger place and not one person is missing. 
praise God. Hallelujah. So I would like the family to please come forward. You are a family, so you are able to come together. I want everyone to see you. Please come forward. Come forward. We appreciate you. We celebrate you. And we are grateful to God. Please face the people of God, even with your mask. Please, let's celebrate this family. Let's celebrate the family. See what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. To God alone be all the glory. Amen. In our seated position, as we will pray for ourselves, I want us to please stretch our hands towards this family and pray for them from the depth of our hearts. Just, just bless them. Let's send them forth with the blessing of God. Let's pray that the God of heaven and earth will go with them. The greatest asset in the life of a man and a family is the presence of God. People of God, as their brothers and sisters, let's send them forth with the, with the, with the presence of God. Let's pray that every time we hear from this family, it will be good news. In the name of Jesus, that beyond what they are believing God for, the Lord will surprise them pleasantly. Father, we thank you for the Ezebos family. We give you all the glory for their lives. We thank you for the many years they have lived in Aberdeen, and it has pleased you to move them higher. Father, as your children, with them, we send them forth with your blessing. And we ask, Lord, that your glory will cover this family in the name of Jesus. We declare every time we hear from this family shall be good news. And your power and your grace will continue to abide with them. Thank you, almighty God. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Please rise up. Let's celebrate them. We celebrate you. We love you. On behalf of your church, your brothers and sisters, we are grateful to God for you. And we know Abadin is not far from where you are. And we look forward to see you again and again. God bless you. Please let's appreciate them as they go. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God forevermore. How many have had a great Children's Day celebration? Um, welcome team, are we ready? I think we should do that now. So please, everyone that we have um, um, celebrated coming to, to the church for the first time, please rise on your feet. The welcome team would like to host you where we are prepared for you. Please take your Bibles, take your bag, take your phone, everything you came to church with, and just move in that direction. God bless you. Thank you so very much. God bless you. God bless you. You're welcome. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The rest of us, let's rise on our feet. Give glory to God. I've seen us to see the end of the month of May. Let's give God glory. It's the last service. Not just the last Sunday. It's the last service. It's the last Sunday. The fifth month. People, let's appreciate God. Let's give glory to God. Let's thank Him. He's the one that keeps us. He never sleeps. He never slumber because of us. Father, we thank you for the privilege of life. Thank you for keeping us to see the very, very, very last service, the very last Sunday. We are grateful. And I release your children with your blessing. And I pray, O oh Lord, King of glory, that everything that they are believing you for, this month is not permitted to end till their testimony comes to their hand. In the name of Jesus, the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine on you. The Lord give you peace. The Lord make your story to be from glory to glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. You have seen the children's day of 2021. You will see that of 2022. Blessed, alive, and multiplied in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' matchless name we have prayed. And together, surely, God's goodness and mercy is following us all the days of our lives because we dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 It has been brought to you through the prayers and contributions of our faithful partners throughout the United Kingdom and the world. If you would like to support us, 
kindly visit our website on www.jesushousetory.org. God bless you.